flowers here? Silk flowers? We certainly do. Which kind would you like? Which kind? Remind Paima what kinds there are again. Ugh, you ignorant shoppers. Always coming in here with your stupid questions. Golden Housemaiden, Valley Weaver, and Fate's Yearning. One of each to start with, if you don't mind. My goodness, this gentleman is quite the connoisseur. You two must be his servants. Uh, please refrain from any further attempts to contribute. Now then, please peruse at your leisure. Do let me know if you have any further thoughts. Silk flowers exhibit different properties based on how their environmental conditions differ from their ancestral habitat. Nevertheless, these are fine specimens, excellently preserved. Just look at the abundant foliage here, and these stamens, glamorous as a maiden of the Golden House. This strain is an evergreen, and mostly grows under complex hydrological conditions. By contrast, this variety thrives in any dark, damp location, often in large clusters. Morphologically, it is distinguished by the profusion of petals and densely packed stamens, though its powerful scent gives it away just as easily. Lastly, this strain is quite the recluse. Unlike its exuberant cousins, flowers and foliage are minimal, and when in season, it has a subtle yet enduring scent. It was first discovered by the ancients when they scaled the mountains in search of the Adepti. Silk flowers have all but disappeared from the wild today due to geographical changes over Liu's history. Most are not grown by horticulturalists. Wow! A true connoisseur! Most of that was news even to me! I possess but a smattering of trivial knowledge. My traveler friend is the one to watch. They are on track to set foot in every corner of the world. Oh, Mr. Zhongli, you're way too humble. So, which silk flower did you want anyway? I'll take them all, boss. Again? How can I put this? When purchasing opera tickets, it is natural to decide based on which singer has the most melodious voice. The same logic applies when purchasing a pet bird. But this silk flower purchase is not an analogous case. The same logic does not apply. Perhaps you don't know. Tradition states that we should decoct perfume from different subspecies of silk flower when making an offering to a statue of the Seven. Rex Lapis will then make his own choice between the scents. Like several other tedious and complicated traditions, this one has become simplified over time. But this is the only rite of parting to take place for one of the seven in 3,700 years. As such, I do think we should honor tradition down to the last detail in this case. Now that's settled, a question. <clears throat> Do you have any mora on you? You forgot to bring money again? <sighs> uh, if I may interject, did I hear you say that these flowers are to be an offering to the Lord of Geo himself? Yes, in a sense. Gosh, well, why didn't you say so? I heard the awful news about what happened at this year's Rite of Dissension. It would be bad luck to say it out loud, but I've been worried about our dear Lord ever since. I'm worried that everything I've heard is true. Since these flowers will be used to glorify our Lord, they're free of charge. Just don't forget to pass on my regards. Are you serious? Why wouldn't I be? I would be nobody if not for Rex Lapis. If he hadn't written those poems in praise of my wares, 
They'd only be worth a fraction of what I can sell them for today. Huh. So much folklore here revolves around Liyue's deity making cameo appearances in support of local businesses. Thank you, boss. I think I speak for all of us when I say that your generosity has saved our skins. Our skins? You were the one who forgot to bring money! Please, it's the least I could do. So, now that we've got the flowers, how do we make the perfume? Ideally, with the help of an expert. Unfortunately, none of my acquaintances have personal experience in the art of decoction. Talk about first world problems. Hence, I need you to help by asking around in the city. Try the common folk, especially women. So this time we get to go around town looking for nice smelling ladies to talk to? Paimon likes this job. I will wait for you near the Statue of the Seven. Meet me there when the perfume is ready. Maybe we can find some good candidates at the Adventurer's Guild. <gasps> Let's ask Lan! She's master of the Leeway Bridge, right? <laughs>